many people ask me a question doctor we are suffering from piles so are we supposed to get cancer or malignancy in future my answer is no piles cannot be converted into cancers but if you have a rectal or anal cancer beforehand before you have consulted you have painless bleeding you have some pain some obstruction while passing stool you feel a sense of heaviness you are losing weight you are losing your appetite so the symptoms looks very similar to hemorrhoids piles but they are actually the symptoms of cancers many a times some quacks some unqualified doctors may give the patient a sense of fear that if you they don't get treated by the themselves this piles may turn into cancer so this is just sort of a um, twisting technique to make a fearful patient for their treatment so remember piles do not convert into cancers but cancers may have symptoms like piles another question which is asked is whether lack of personal hygiene can lead to piles or other anal diseases frankly speaking it is not true but if you already have these diseases it's always vigilant prudent to keep that area as clean as possible as I, as i said to my patient that clean it as hygienic as you keep your face because if you have masses of piles outside if you have some wound over there if there is some fissuring the stool may get entangled there which can lead to irritation discharge skin maceration so it is always better that if you are suffering from any of the anal diseases try to clean it as neatly as precisely as possible to avoid secondary complications associated with unhygienic local conditions few people think that sitting on concrete or footpath can also lead to anal diseases but again there are no scientific data or base to this presumption then few people might ask that can eating too much of spices or chilies can lead to piles i would say to some extent yes because all these substances produce an acid known as capsaicin which produces irritation not only in your mouth but in your anal canal also giving rise to sense of heat pain burning itching etc and if you keep on eating these things then certainly the disease may aggravate may persist giving rise to very classical anal disease and obviously if you have been suffering from any of the anorectal disorders or if you have been operated upon or if you are posted for any anorectal surgery it is always better that you should completely stop eating chilies and spices at least till your wound gets completely healed or your disease has been taken care of people might get frustrated that once they develop piles it cannot be cured or you cannot have anything to prevent or to treat piles but this is absolutely wrong piles at any stage of their severity may be 
early stage, maybe advanced stage, maybe very advanced stage with complications can be completely managed, treated and cured with different approaches which may consist of office treatment, medication, lifestyle changes, food habits or eventually if needed some surgical manure. But never get lost, never get dejected that once you have developed piles, you are always have to live with it. It's absolutely not true to think about it. Also, people have a belief that if you don't get yourself constipated or if you can avoid constipation, you will be avoiding your anorectal problems. In some sense, it is true because many of the diseases of the anal canal are directly related with your constipation. But for that matter, if you are constipated and you are trying different type of laxatives, tool softener, purgatives or other manure to treat your constipation in a hope that your anorectal diseases will also be vanishing after your constipation is over is partly correct but treatment of constipation itself cannot be a cure for your anorectal diseases. It has definitely a lion's share in your disease amelioration but it is just a part there are so many other things which are required to be managed. Then people also think that there is no medical treatment eventually every patient who has been suffering from piles will have to undergo under the knife or to undergo a surgical procedure but that is again not correct because if treated in time if diagnosed in time proper instruction are followed then almost 90 percent of piles hemorrhoids can be treated without operation but for that one has to be very cautious very particular very religious very sincere about getting it diagnosed getting it treated with a proper follow-up following doctor's instruction. So there is no reason that if you are doing all this, you will ever have to undergo any surgical procedure for your hemorrhoids.